to my channel my name is Brittany bundles and today's video is going to be all about how to increase your online sales by taking advantage of your top landing pages now I'm going to be looking down in this video I have my notes right here in front of me if you do see me looking down just as a brief disclosure and um, we're going to talk a little bit about what I just mentioned how to increase your online sales I work with a lot of e-commerce businesses and this is a common question and um, also a common I don't want to say issue, but challenge that a lot of business owners face. The question is they're wanting to know how to get more sales. And the challenge is they're consistently posting. Um, they are creating their um, email newsletter and they're applying back to emails and checking their abandoned carts. And they're wondering, you know, why am I still not getting orders? Now, like I say in many videos, everyone's business is very unique. Um, there's not a one size fits all blanket answer to why, you know, sales are slow for businesses or sales aren't coming in fast enough uh, because it, in order to give advice, you know, I have to look at the specific business, the specific um, marketing strategies and take a look to see what is currently contributing to the sales or lack thereof and also what can be implemented that's not already being implemented or what can be tweaked to make sure that we're moving closer to the overall business uh, goals. So if you are interested in scheduling a consultation where I can take a more in-depth look at your specific business, be sure to click the link down below this video. Um, read all about the consultations that I offer. Um, I also have some reviews out there on my um, social media platform. So feel free to click those links as well so that you can see some of those reviews. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. But before I do, um, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is what is a landing page? Um, I use Shopify for my e-commerce store. I talk about Shopify in a lot of my videos. So if you're not using Shopify and you do have an online business or if you have taken your business online, um, you know I, I think it's really, really important that you have an e-commerce platform that is going to work for your business. And Shopify has worked great for my business as well as other businesses that I've worked with. I go into detail on this channel with other videos about all the perks that Shopify has to offer. Um, if you are interested in trying out Shopify or seeing how Shopify works and learning more about Shopify, there is gonna be a Shopify link below this video as well. Click the link. There may even be a free trial, but you have to click that link to see. So um, through Shopify, they, provide a, a nice picture and a nice dashboard, I guess I should say, instead of picture of your analytics. So how your store is doing, where your traffic is coming from, um, how many abandoned cart emails you have. They do a comparison of how much you're on pace currently, uh, opposed to your pace last year or opposed to your pace last month. Um, they also go over customers that have purchased the largest amounts in your store. Um, they go over top landing pages and pretty much the top landing pages describe what pages on your website are being visited most often. Now, with all the analytics that Shopify provides us with, those are all tools that can help us better strategically plan and market for our business according to where our business currently is at. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there's not a one step blanket answer for all businesses, every business is at a different place. Now there might be some businesses that are, you know, newer businesses, maybe some businesses that are in the same industry, um, maybe some businesses that have the same target audience, but nevertheless, every business is completely different and they're in different places in their business journey. So I'm gonna insert a screenshot of what a top landing page is. I'm gonna show you my top landing page, uh, pages through my Shopify store. And then I'm going to go ahead and talk about number one. So number one is be aware. So know where your traffic lands. It's really important to be aware of what's going on with your online store. That's why I talk a lot about making sure that you are paying attention to your analytics because it's very imperative that you know exactly where your business stands. If I don't know where my business is at, um, where my traffic is coming from, how many visitors I typically get per day on my website, how many abandoned carts I'm getting, how many orders I'm, if I'm not keeping track of all of those details, if I don't know where my business is at, it's gonna be very, very challenging for me to make a plan that is going to be strategic to the advancement of my business. There are so many entrepreneurs that don't look at their analytics. I've made so many videos about the importance of analytics, but there are, there are people that don't look at their analytics 
they watch videos, they listen to podcasts, they do research on online, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you can do all of that and not know exactly where to plug in the information that you're getting if you don't know where your business is standing and what your business needs to move uh, toward. So the first step, the first tip that I want to point out is be aware and know where your traffic lands. I know the, the main page that most of my traffic goes to is my homepage. So I take advantage of my homepage. I'm going to get into a little bit uh, more detail about how I take advantage of my homepage and how that helps to ultimately increase sales later on in the video. But the first tip that I want everyone to remember or write down if you are taking notes is be aware of where your traffic lands. And you can find this information right through your Shopify store. Uh, the second tip that I have is take advantage of top landing pages by including important information. So like I just mentioned, I know my top landing page is my homepage. So anything that I'm wanting to promote, for example, when I was promoting drop shipping, I had a drop shipping video on my homepage going over all the details regarding drop shipping so that when people got on my homepage, they were able to see um, the video and learn more about what I was offering and what I was promoting. Another example, when I wrote my ebook, I had a video on my homepage that went over my ebook as well. When I'm offering buy now, pay later options, I'll have a banner, which I'm typically always offering buy now, pay later options. But if I'm promoting that and wanting to remind um, my website visitors that that's a, an option that I have, I'll create a banner at the top of my website where they can see that information. So I'm conscious of where my you know visitors are landing, the majority, the majority of my visitors, I mean, rephrase it like that, are landing. And I'm making sure that I'm capitalizing on that page. So I don't want too much information on that page. This is another area that we've talked about in some other videos, information overload. There are also entrepreneurs that give too much information, whether it be via um, correspondence, email, chats, phone calls, whether it be um, all of the information compacted on their website. Now, don't misunderstand me. It's very important to give information, but it's also very important to know when you're doing too much and you're going overboard. So I do take advantage of knowing where the majority of my visitors are at, and I make sure that I'm maximizing on those pages by including what it is I'm promoting or including what it is that's important or including what it is a lot of customers are interested in. Once you start to learn your business, you'll be able to discover and decipher between which products and which services are most popular and be able to give your visitors what they're looking for um, in the form of promoting what it is they're coming to your website for. So if I know a lot of people are coming to my website for wholesale, for an example, I wanna make sure that I'm promoting that. Now, if you just looked at the screenshot that I inserted where I had my top landing pages, wholesale inquiries was on the top landing pages, but it wasn't the top landing page. So you wanna be cautious of, again, where your the majority of your visitors are landing and also if your art like for example if i wanted to promote wholesale i may put the wholesale on my home page and then i also may take advantage of the wholesale page that some visitors are going to and make sure that i'm including more information if there's not enough already uh, maybe including uh, frequently asked questions may be helpful, maybe including testimonials or pictures but like i mentioned in a lot of videos business is trial and error you don't want to get too lazy with your business where you're not trying anything. You're just relying on strictly being consistent. I made a video a few weeks ago, or it may have been a month by now, going over the importance of not being too routine in business and how being too routine and not paying attention to how your business is moving, not paying attention to what's going on around your business, and not being strategic enough to keep up with the demand of your business can definitely haunt your sales. The third tip that I have is use as a tool to learn what info your customers are coming for to strengthen your marketing strategy. So if you are completely lost in your life, look, I really don't know why my customers are coming to my website. I sell hair, I also sell clothes, I sell lashes, I sell um, masks, I sell, um, what else, press on nails. So I don't know what my customers are coming for. You can definitely look at your top landing pages along with the other analytics that Shopify provides, but this video is strictly about your, you know, your top landing pages. You can look at that area and get an idea for which page they're going to. So if you have a page talking about hair and talking about clothes, but you see the majority of people are landing on your hair page and not clothes, then that can give you some indication of what the majority of people are going to your website for, or it can give you an indication of what link is being promoted most often. 
for me, I promote my homepage most often. I promote badchickhair.com. I'll plug it in the video here as well. And it's also down below if you want to learn more about my services or book a consultation or look at my products. That link is down below. But I promote that link most often because that's my main page. From that page, you can get to any place else on the website. All the information is readily accessible. You go to the home page and there's an icon at the top left side, um, left side um, part of the page. And you can go ahead and click the drop down menu. You can learn more about myself. You can learn more about drop shipping. You can learn more about payment plans, about the hair that I offer. Just so it, there's all the information there. Plus there's videos. Plus there's also popular products on my homepage. So there's so much information on the homepage and that's why I do market the homepage most often. But when I am running a certain campaign, promoting a certain product, I am going to be more likely to promote that link instead. So it's okay if you're noticing that your homepage has the most traffic, especially if your homepage is the landing page that your customers and clients can go to to navigate around and find what they're looking for. Um, the fourth tip that I have is meet them there. So chat option or contact details. So it's very important in my opinion to have a chat option on your website or some kind of way that your customers and clients can reach out and get their questions answered pretty quickly. Um, people lack patience. That's just the nature of society. No one really wants to wait for you to have time to circle back around and answer their question when there's other people out there that are readily accessible to answer their question and provide their needs. I mean, look, you know, put yourself in their shoes just for a moment. If you're a customer and if you're searching for, let's just say you're searching for um, some pants. If I'm looking for pants and you offer pants and I go to your store or go to your website and you're closed or um, I don't know, you're not available and I keep searching and I find someone else that offers the same pants or something comparable and I want those pants today, more than likely I'm going to go ahead and move on to whoever's available to assist me with those pants. More than likely I'm going to go ahead and move on with what I need, which are the pants or what I want and I'm not going to wait until you know, the store opens or wait until um, I get uh, my, my question answered. And it's nothing personal. It's not like, you know, if someone moves on to another business, they don't like your business or they, you know, thought you weren't professional. But at the end of the day, you know, everyone wants what they want right now. So we have to be conscious of that. And like I mentioned, it's very important, in my opinion, to have a chat option. Not all e-commerce um, websites give you the option to have a chat feature. Um, like I mentioned, you can have like a email form, contact, um, you know, a sheet or online form set up on your website. However, like I said, people typically want their, their questions answered pretty quickly. So um, if you are going to do like an email form, I do recommend you setting the right expectations on your website, letting customers and clients or just visitors know that, um, you know, the, the contact Time frame is one to two business days or one to three business days, whatever yours is. But chatting has always worked best for my, my business personally and also the businesses that I've worked with. And the last tip that I have is if your homepage is your top landing page and you'd like to change that, start strategically marketing using the page link that you're wanting to promote. So kind of like we just went over, I typically promote my homepage most often. It's the quickest link that I have. Um, and from that homepage, you can get all the information that you're needing. So I promote badchickhair.com just like I did a little bit ago in this video and also down below, but I do promote other links too. If you're wanting to change that up, then take a look and see which um, link you're currently promoting and start promoting the link that you're wanting your customers and clients to land on because that can definitely help with increasing your overall sales and also the productivity of your business. So I really hope that this video helped. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.